What is going on guys, it's MKC Technology here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to set up OBS Studio for streaming and recording. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel now. Like for more videos, comment down below on what you think about this video, but try not to put any bad comments. With that being said, let's get started. Now, before we get to setting up OBS for streaming and recording, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and download the software. I'll leave a link in the description box down below just in case you want to go ahead and download the software. Once you're on the website, go ahead and choose the operating system, whether it's Windows or Mac OS X or Linux. From After you've done that, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and choose how you want the software to be downloaded, whether it's via the installer, BitTorrent or uTorrent, or a zip file or from GitHub. Once you have done that, just go ahead and download the software and get to installing it. From here, you'll want to find where you have downloaded the software and go get to installing it. So for me, it's in my downloads and it's right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and double click on it and get to installing it. Your prompt will then come up, click on yes, and then it'll start installing. Click on next, click I agree to all terms, click on next again, click on install, and it'll is now it's now installing i'll be right back with you once it's done installing obs is now finished installing so let's go ahead and launch the application i'm just going to go ahead and close chrome real quick now the application is now starting up now all we have to do is agree to the licensing licensing agreement so once obs has opened up you'll then be brought to this prompt which is the auto configuration wizard click on yes click on optimize for streaming and recording is secondary if you want you can choose optimize just for recording and i will not be streaming but for me i want to set this up for streaming and recording will be secondary so click on next click on next again but before we do that, you want you'll want to choose your screen resolution screen resolution, which for me is 12, 1280 by 720p, which is good for me. Click on next. Choose your streaming service, which for me is YouTube. Insert your um, streaming key or your stream key. Click on next again. Click yes. And it'll now set up your um, configurations and or a lot of stuff that it needs to set up for OBS. All right, so this is now finished, and I've the bitrate has been set to 10,000 for some reason, which I'll have to lower down due to the fact that um, if you're streaming to YouTube, you'll have a unlimited uh, number of bitrate. It could be set to 10,000, but for me, I like to set it at 3,500. So that's where we'll have to go into the settings and start fine tuning fine-tuning our settings so we'll click apply these settings and then let's make this bigger a little bit and then from here we'll go into our settings and we'll start fine-tuning a lot of stuff so let's make that smaller like that okay so for me I don't what I'm about to do here you don't have to do but I'm just gonna change the theme so that it's a little better on my eyes there it is so the theme just changed so from here what we're going to do is click on this checkbox right here so that every time we start streaming we get a notification on screen that's that is asking us are we sure that we want to start streaming so that way we don't start streaming by accident after we've done that uh we want to click on automatically record when streaming so that when we start streaming the obs software starts to record um, by itself after we've done that we want to go into stream and make sure everything is set up correctly now obs does support other streaming uh, websites or um providers such as youtube smashcast mixer daily motion facebook restream uh, live edu and twitter they they also support mo more 
uh, streaming providers, but I'm not going to really get into that. After we've gone into the stream settings, what we want to do now is go into our output settings. So from here, we want to go into uh, advanced mode and start fine tuning our settings. So for the encoder, it's set to X62, no, X264. Um, I want to set that to this so that I can record and have everything uh, recorded to an external device. And then I want to have a custom rescale output. So which mean, which will allow me to stream at a different, uh, how should I say, uh, resolution. But I'm not going to actually change that. I just want to have a custom rescale output just to make sure that it actually stays in that uh, frame rate or not frame rate, the resolution. So my target usage is going to be balanced. Um, now these settings only apply to me, but if you're using regular X264, you'll apply these settings. So you'll set it to CBR and then for your bit rate, you'll have it at 3000. Now your key interval will be set to two. And then if you have a, not a, not a, not how should I say this? If you don't have a good processor, I suggest putting it on very fast. If you are like me, um, and you just want to put your own custom settings, then you can. But, um, if you, like I said, if you don't have a good processor, you could put it on very fast. Or if you want, you could put it on faster. It's completely up to you. Now for your profile, you want to put it on main. And then for your X264 options, you'll want to type in open CL equals true. Now, once you have done that, go into recording and start setting up your recording options. Now, we have to go into custom. Actually, no, we don't. We, we have to stay in standard. So, our encoder, we could do... Uh, if you have this option, quick sync H.264, you can choose this, but if you don't, you can choose X264, which I'm going to choose just to make this easier for the video. Now, we're going to have our custom rescale output, which is our resolution set, and then we'll need to have a target usage, which could be balanced, or you could set it for quality. It doesn't really matter. And then our bit rate could be different. Now we need to set our rate control to, uh, it doesn't say, oh, that's why. It's, all right, so here it is. So we need to have our rate control set to CFR so that we can set how our video quality is going to be set. So if you don't have a good processor or a graphics card, I suggest putting it at at least 23 to 25 so that that way it doesn't come out as a uh, good quality but you at least have a uh, video being recorded but for me i like to set it at 19 so that way it has it is a good video quality and everything's being recorded um properly and then for the key interval i like to set it at two for the cpu usage preset i like to put it on faster and then for the profile, we will put it on main. And then for the X264, for the X264 options, I'll put it on open CL equals true. And then for the audio and the replay buffer, you can leave alone. Now for audio, uh, you'll want to set the sample rate to 48,000 or 48,000 megahertz. And then for your desktop audio device you'll want to set it as default or you can set it as speakers now i suggest putting it on speakers or speaker headphones real tech high definition audio and for the microphone audio you will have to put it for on your microphone um settings now if you have a built-in microphone if you're using a laptop you can automatically just set it as that or it will automatically detect uh, that you have a built-on microphone and it will be automatically set. 
Now for your videos options, you can do a base canvas resolution of 1080p if you want to, and then it will output to 1280 by 720. Uh, that's if you want to, or you can just keep everything the same. And then from there, everything will now be set up. So basically, that's how you set up everything for streaming and recording using OBS Studio. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. All the links to my social media is in the description box down below. With that being said, it's MKC Technology. I'm out.